Joining me via phone to look at what will become of sports after the COVID-19 crisis is sport journalist and public affairs analyst Olawale Adekoya. Thank you, Olawale, for joining us on the news. Yeah, good morning to you. Good How afternoon you? to you. Yeah, fine, thank you. In matches played yesterday, we saw the benches have been adapted to respect social distancing of two meters between each player. How will this play out? Well, believe me, what we saw yesterday did not actually look like our football. It's more like uh, doing a computer game or something. You know, I had to think myself that if it's a Bundesliga, <laughs> it doesn't really look like, but we are watching and seeing how this will pan out at the end of the day. Post-COVID-19, post -COVID do you see this as a future of football? Of football, I mean, without, without spectators on the field? Well, let me tell you, it, it, it's even beyond football. It's about humanity. It's about the human nature itself. Um, you must understand that the community is actually um, endangered. Usually, it is human beings that um, are free to move about while the animals are locked up. But the reverse is the case now. After this pandemic, I tell you, it's never going to be the same again. Look at the UEFA Champions League. Look at the leagues around the world. The question is when and how. And with the way things are going, you are talking about a lot of media networks that have paid billions of dollars for live sports coverage. What's going to happen to the money? The global economy is dying. Many countries were moving in and out of, um, uh, what do you call it, a recession. It was shocking only yesterday when Germany announced that the country had entered recession. And you know what that means, being the largest economy in Europe. So it's not looking good at all. Okay, the president, good the president of the Nigerian... Uh, unless a miracle happens, Adekoya. we may never say football the way we've always known it in a few years to come. The president of the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, Amaju Pinnick, has predicted a tough time for the country's football after the current ongoing global pandemic. Do you agree? And what can be done to make it better? Oh, well, it has to be. Making it better has to be what have you done before now? Have you planned for a day like this, a moment like this? If you have not, it's going to be tougher that you can imagine. Look at how we've been caught napping. Where is the money? Those days, it's so easy to approach uh, any of the uh, brittle institutions that can actually help you. Now, everybody is a beggar. Nobody knows where the next day will come from. The global economy that we've been talking about is dangerously threatened. As you see, the fact that Wimbledon, a competition, a tournament that never been moved, that never been cancelled since um, the, end, the Second World War, 1945 to 1949. It has to be cancelled. These are the things that define humanity. The World Cup, the Champions League. You can predict and say, look, when I'm, when I'm planning my holiday, I have to put this Champions League final, May, June, the World Cup will start this and that. So coming back to Nigeria, uh, we're going to be hit badly unless maybe a kind of fund will come. And for us to come out, let me answer you quickly. Good thinking. You're talking about the power of scholarship, power of innovation, power of creative thinking. That is, can make us come out with good fund. But with the way I'm saying it, we are not coordinated, and I have my fear for the ground. Olawale Adekoya, thank you for joining us on the news and for your contribution. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure anytime.